Oh, hello everybody and welcome to Stamperia Atelier. My name is Monica Paruta and I'm so happy that uh, we have so many followers for this uh, uh, special uh, event we have every Tuesday for you. And uh, we have many friends who followed us uh, in the demonstration. And uh, so here we are again for you with another project. But I'm not alone, you know, I have a friend here who helps me and uh, interact with me and already you know. So my friend Omar. Hello, Hello Monica, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Wait a minute, but what happened? You change your hair? <laughs> oh, oh. You noticed. I noticed. <laughs> Honestly. I know that from the picture of yesterday, the advertise of our Samperia Atelier, that something was changed uh, in the video. Uh, you look gorgeous. Thank you. I need these. Because oh. you shine. <laughs> wow. Is it so sunny in Spain? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it is. It is. It's not a it's another beautiful day here. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Also beautiful. in Italy today. Today is sunny. It's a very a wonderful day with the autumn colors, but sunny. It's a good day for creation, I think. <laughs> okay. Hi, Vincenzo. Oh, and Cindy Crane also said that your haircut is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so let's start yeah. after after this and uh, I show you uh, what we thought of uh, about uh, the demonstration of today is about uh, soft clay I think you know this product which is uh, a clay we used in many many ways and actually today I will use it to create a vase to decorate a vase because the vase already exists it's a bound vase white Anonymous, and then it will be like that. Oh <laughs> so, my God, that's gorgeous! Let me see. Yeah, it is. It is uh, with actually we use molds, rice paper, and but we will we will see how to make it. First of all, uh, what about soft clay? So soft clay, it's a very very light clay. Uh, you can use uh, uh, specially, especially with molds, with molds. These are our maxi molds. We have many in the collection and uh, every time we have new ones in novelties. Uh, so they are uh, coordinated with the papers and other, uh, and other things we have in our catalog, in our collection. And then also the uh, this we already used last time you remember, yeah. so they are the impression molds for texture, and I I'm going to to show you immediately this. So let's try first with the uh, the uh, maxi mold. How yeah. please, Monica, explain what this. The, the soft clay, why is so special? Why, what is the difference between other products, similar products? Yes, it's a clay you can use with your hands. So you can really, um, you see, it's so soft and it dries at the air. It's uh, very, very light and it's special because you can make a mold in one minute. You see, we, you choose what you like. I think you can do it as well, Omar, if you want. It's very, very I easy. Did it. I <laughs> did it last, that. last year. I used it for my Christmas tree. Yeah, uh, yeah, I use it because I never use a real, a real trees because you know I, I am really up about the environment, so I never use a real tree. But I use any any type of, of furniture I, I I find in my house, and I just make it up for Christmas and I need something very light because it, they need to be hanged up and soft clay was perfect because it's very very light at the end what you have it's really you can 
you can play with it. It's so soft and light. So mm -hmm. I use it, and it's easy. Even with just the mold, you you can. I did it. Yeah, but please show us how a professional can use it and what you but can that's do. an idea because everything can become a, actually a christmas tree no <laughs> you can you can make it as as you like so it's a good idea to decorate also your christmas tree with molds because they are very light when they are dried so take out a piece of mold a piece of clay sorry and then you press into the mold very easily with your hands like this so press well press well you don't have to um mix a lot in your hands before because it dries quite fast so take it out and press it immediately into the mold please so it will be better for the result you see it is a little bit more than what i need so take a, a knife, take a spatula like this, and you cut out the exceeding part. Please, Monica, can you show the same, but from with your beautiful upper camera? So of course, yes, you're right because you can see it better. It's easy, but it's better to see closer. So I have pressed into the mold, and I yeah. have cut out the exceeding part. And now you can already take it out. Look, just press in the middle, and this is the mold. Wow, so easily. Yeah, so easy. <laughs> and, and the definition is it seems it looks beautiful. It's very defined and very very light. So you can make a hole, for example, and why not? It can get something you can hang on your tree with of course you you should color it you should color so how can we color it it is it will be easier if you color when it is completely dry that's why i have already prepared a couple of them they i had prepared yesterday so now they are harder and more strong to uh, use with colors so Mm -hmm. Any color you want. I take a contrasting color, this dark gray, gray for example, and I color it. So it's better to wait uh, to they have to be dry in order to color it easily, right? They they are dry. And how 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 much they take for to dry? completely you need uh, eight hours eight mm. hours if you put on a heater even mm. quicker even quicker maybe a couple of hours on a heater but so you can speed up the process using using a, a high dry heater okay exactly so now i take a normal allegro acrylic so just a dark color to show you uh, quickly how you can color it and with water and this dark gray, gray mm -hmm. I paint it. So if it is uh, dried, it will be easier to color also into the spaces, deep spaces you have in the mold. So you color like this all over. You can use different colors if you want, of course. And then what else? We, sh we dry. I dry with hair dryer just to be quicker. Oh, Donatella is online. Silvia. Hello, ciao. Hola. We are all here. some friends following us now yeah 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 there's a lot of people are following you monica oh. ah, <laughs> you're a lucky girl <laughs> they love you oh thank you that's so nice uh, to see you <laughs> to see you yeah. 
So uh, I dried a little bit, not as much, but just to have the idea. Look at what now can um, you, uh, we can reveal the uh, drawing now with a sponge. I find them very, very practical, very useful. Take some white Allegro acrylic now mm -hmm. with a sponge, a dry sponge. Not too much color, but with a dry sponge, just dab the surface to stand out the, the drawing we have underneath. Oh, so wow. you see now the drawing revealing again. It looks like vintage, a very easy vintage effect. Like, like that. Exactly, exactly. So I think it's amazing how easy it is uh, to create decorations, to be glued on a box, uh, wherever you want or to be hanged on a christmas tree as we were saying just before so this is uh, an easy way but now let's go to our base now i have um, already given you the list of the products that we need today if you want to make the base at the same time as me why not so every time on the previous day, I will give you the list of materials you need to make the demonstration with me. So if you don't have this time, do it next time, please. There's a, there's a comment, Monica, <laughs> by Kerry. That suddenly I have to catch the replay on this because it's midnight in South Australia. <laughs> it's midnight there. So yes, and, and of course you can find, this is alive, but you will find this video available on YouTube and our Facebook page. So you will always can see it again, also the previous <clears throat> episode with, with Monica. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow. So we have people also at midnight uh, watching it. Okay. Brazil. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Brazil, happy. everywhere. Right. The right paper. The rice paper, our magic rice paper is so light, versatile. Which collection it is this, Monica? It's I can... Princess collection. Princess, princess collection. Oh, princess collection. Just take a piece of rice paper, uh, any rice paper you like. We don't need as much. I and like when you don't use the scissor and you use your hand to. to... <laughs> That's, I love these <laughs> So let's glue a couple of uh, pieces of uh, rice paper on your base. So maybe one here and the other one maybe here. Okay, it's not important to be precise now. And we use our glue, mixed media glue for mixed rice paper. It's perfect. it's perfect, yes. One day we show you everything we make with uh, this special glue. It's not only the, the only use we have with this glue. Huh? One time yeah, you have to give a lesson about all the glues that we have because we have many glues and everyone is specific for the medium, the rice paper, the cardboard. So yes, we need to learn more about the glue word. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We have many glues. Well, Every glue. Ooh, yeah, Thessaloniki, all around the world, Queensland. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> great. Look, have you seen that I had put some glue on the surface first and then some glue on the top? So on the basis and on the top. Uh, sorry, mm, Monica, can you show from the, the top view just? Yeah, okay. And, and I have a question, a question. Yeah. Uh, do you use the glue pure or, or you also use a little bit of water? No, pure. You're using okay. the... It depends on the surface. Sometimes I use also glue. Perfect. I see that you are very, very careful. Actually, when I use the glue, when the surface is porous, when the surface, for example, when I use a rice paper on a canvas, for example. So I mix a little bit of glue with water, but this is ceramics, uh, it's not so porous. So I don't need water before, and I go straight with the glue. A little bit of glue before and glue on top of paper. 
Yeah, and I, and I remember you when you gave me one of the first lessons when we were taking shooting tutorials, and you told me that using the glue over the, the paper protect them, and after you can color it or you can use any mixed media product you want if you give yes. protection. You are a perfect student, actually. No, <laughs> I learned from I, I learn from all of you and you and Donatella and Christina. I just yes, <laughs> very well, <laughs> good student. Yes, right. The glue is also a protection for paper, so every time we use colors on top of it, uh, we can actually um, make it more easily with the, if we use glue on top. So glue underneath and glue on top of the paper spread it very well and try to press very well with the brush don't worry about the paper it's very elastic so it will not break sometimes i see people using the brush very carefully they are afraid to break it no don't worry not about with it. our paper no no the so colors stay and the paper is very strong and you can adapt uh, the rice paper on every surface. Actually, here we are working on ceramics. You can work with the same technique of today, also on other surfaces, on every other surfaces you want. Okay? So it's ceramic. You can make it also on glass if you want or on metal. No problem. So rice paper first mm -hmm. and now soft clay soft clay so let's take soft clay out we have in two sides this is a big one but also we have the small the small package because you know soft clay you need to close it very well the package in order to prevent to dry it and uh, so the small package can be very usable for for small project or small project but this is the, the big one right that's right actually soft clay dries at the air so when you finish to use it always close it very well with a, a tape for example in order not to have any air inside otherwise it can dry easily if you have a smaller package it will be uh, easier also to keep it uh, to keep it without uh, drying it so the big package if you work more with this just put Thanks. a little bit of uh, water now uh, sorry of um, glue now somewhere on the base where you want to put the soft clay Ah, so the glue will glue the, the soft clay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. You spread it. Mm -hmm. Spread it with your hands. Irregularly. Don't make anything too much precise, please. No necessary. We are making... Follow your, your creativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No rules. No rules. <laughs> yeah, I like freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So creativity is technique, that's right. But once you have learned the technique, it's better to change, to change and also to decorate in your own way with your own personality. Making mistakes sometimes. Huh? You can make uh, beautiful things with mistakes. <laughs> Some more clay here in the empty spaces, you see, between one paper and the other. And I also go a little bit on the paper, over the rice paper. This is just a normal basis, right? We, you don't, it's just, it was a normal white basis, yeah. ceramic one. Yeah, Yeah, a ceramic vase, uh, very, very uh, normal white base. Yeah. So actually here, as I, quite cover everything with clay and with the rice paper. I don't even need to put any primer before. Yeah. Okay, here as well. And then I take some paste, some clay also here and All there. Glue to allow the soft clay to stay in place. Mm -hmm. And look, 
Now I use the spatula, you see? To make it really irregular. Okay, I go on the paper sometimes. I'm quite uh, everywhere covering with paper and clay. Not uh, every, every, everywhere. I have some holes, no problem. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's quite completely covered. So the clay is still not dry. It's still moldable. You can... Yeah, of see. course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It must be wet now because mm -hmm. I still have to... Uh, to treat it, uh, to shape it, and to okay. impress it. Okay. We will use some molds afterwards. Uh, what I suggest you is uh, not to um, dirty this side with the glue because we are going to use the impression molds and uh, sometimes if you have uh, some glue on this side, mm -hmm. it can happen that the clay will stick into the mold okay okay so um, be careful not to have uh, too much glue on this side okay here. hungary as well yeah. sorry the uh, follower from hungary as oh. well hello <laughs> So some friends from Hungary too, all places where I used to, to travel. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Now I take the mold, this texture impression A5 mold. Yeah, the tiny one with these so details, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, really a texture. I like this texture and uh, it fits with the uh, technique i'm going to use now so i impress the mold from the right side so where it is empty of course and i impress it like this i press with my fingers mm -hmm. and now i show you closer yeah but we can see, we can see the design is coming out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you speaking Hungarian? <laughs> wow. Just, just because I say, a lot, I'm, I'm looking, there's a lot of people from Budapest who, oh. who is following you. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. I impress it like a, a stamp, you see? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, okay, come closer, please, a little bit. I wanted to see the details of, oh, yeah, beautiful, it's, it's beautiful, it's very beautiful. This looks like already an ancient basis or... That's the aim, actually, yes. Look, I take some uh, clay now, and on the bigger mold the a4 mold so the bigger one the bigger one this is the the, the classic one the classic, yeah. the classic one you can use uh with gesso or other uh, exactly uh, actually you can use it a lot with gesso huh? with gesso in this case uh, with plaster you cannot shape on a round base like this one that's why I'm using the clay. If it were with plaster, it will stay straight. Of but course, I need one thing to be on the round shape. So because I get the clay mm -hmm. and I take out a shape I like. So maybe this. Mm -hmm. As we made before, I take out the exceeding part. And uh, I take out. What? Where I can buy the products? Ah, uh, this is a, a very good question. And yes, we can answer in the comments. 
Yeah. Joan is online. Everyone is online, actually, in Stamperia. They they love to watch you. Oh. So maybe we can. Uh, from which country? From which country, Omar? Uh, let me see. Yeah. From where? From where you are, please. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, if you have question about the technique of Monica, but wait, 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 I lose this, yeah. this step is very important. So you take it out, the mold. Yes, I put some mixed media glue underneath. Yeah. And I pressed it, not too much because it's still soft, of course. And I softly pressed the mold on the base here. So the difference is between the ceramic powder and, and uh, the clay is that you can take it off from the mold when it's not dry. And you can mold on, on every surface, like cur curvy, like, like this one. And of course, is also the difference is, is in the consistent. The, the ceramic powder can break if, if it falls down. The, the clay is, is light and this material do not broke. It's, it's very strong and resistant. Exactly. Just a suggestion, please remember to put all the remaining part into the art package and close it well, possibly with the tape. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not to have air inside. And in this way, you will really keep for a long time. Okay? Just close it like this. I have a special Tupperware for, for my soft clay. I have a Tupperware and I put all my package of soft clay inside the box and of course mm -hmm. the band. But, 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 if you have a, a box, you still have some air inside. So it's better to envelope before the clay. I do the both. I do the both. I envelope and I put it in. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> So now we have our vase, but I cannot paint now directly with a brush because it's still very soft. So what's the most uh, suitable uh, product uh, to color the vase now? Spray colors, so aqua colors with the spray now, because in this way, I don't have to touch with the brush and I will not flat the surface. Okay, that's clear, I think. So let's see closer. Yeah, please, because aqua color is, is an incredible, incredible product. I, I think you should give a lesson only about this aqua color. I know that everyone is using C since a long time, but there's many, many ways to use it. So yes. I agree with you. You can use aqua colors on every surface, actually and uh, um, with the brush, mm -hmm. like watercolor, but stronger than a watercolor because they are very, very strong also on wood, on glass, wherever you want. So with the brush or with the spray like now. Look, I spray a little bit of ancient pink, uh, rosa mm -hmm. pico. As the color is very, uh, liquid it goes really everywhere and now I mix with graffiti color which is a dark gray don't worry if it is dark now we will clear it up later okay so you're not spraying the paper the rice paper only the soft clay especially the soft uh, soft clay but uh, it can go a little bit also on the paper but okay. it's not Problem. You can use always a sponge with uh, water, which will help a little bit the color to go where you need. Okay, so just to cover all the white surface of the soft clay. And we have this situation now. Mm -hmm. When it dries, what happens that it dries and the aqua color will clear it up a little because the soft clay is still wet and it soaks the colors, of course. So what we get after drying, it's this situation. I put you closer. There's a question, Monica, online. Yes. So it doesn't wet the clay too much, are asking. 
wet the clay too much you have you can you can no problems you can put a lot of color and you can put also water but the more you put and longer it takes to be dried actually here is the same situation i had yesterday here ah, and now but... it's like this so it was like this and now it's dry and it is like this you see so the, the the soft clay absorbed the color so if you want a stronger color you have to maybe i don't know spray using again. spray again time. when it's dry okay okay actually this is what we had just sprayed on a mold mm -hmm. the same color you see graffiti color graffiti yeah. color here but this is dry and this is this what wet that's what happens it gets it gets uh, clearer muchas gracias silvia por tu comentario <laughs> sí, like gracias uh, so what can we make now now we make we use acrylic allegro mm -hmm. now and it, you need a sponge a dry sponge and a, um, an angular brush like this one acrylic color so i take some uh, graffiti color and i will finish it on the dry the side of the vase i had already prepared yesterday so if you have made the demonstration with me till now i suggest you now to leave your vase dry and then go on this evening when it is completely dry if you put on a heater also in an hour it will be ready so now with allegro acrylic color mm -hmm. i just go around a little bit uh, the mold uh, to the shadow to create a shadow yeah. definitely mm -hmm. so maybe here where i have uh, this uh, paste and uh, rice paper i go like this uh, just to create uh, a sort of natural there's a question for you monica christina is asking we can't use primer into clay before aqua color Mm -hmm. before aqua color Using the, yeah. it's not so necessary because uh, the clay is already um is porous ah, i know what you mean that you can you want to seal the surface uh, so uh yes you could you could but it must be completely dried uh actually you can and not really with a primer but maybe with a sealer or with a varnish so a varnish would be more suitable than a primer on top of this because actually the surface will be smoother and it will be less absorbing so i suggest you more a sealer or a varnish but if you leave it dry as i made not so necessary you see you can color easily and um... Vincenza is asking which is which color are you using? Now? Acrylic Allegro color. This is graffiti color because yeah. my paper is uh, around these colors, so I have used uh, especially some uh, grays uh, and uh, ancient pink uh, of the aqua color. So uh, they are uh, tonalities that suit with the paper but all acrylic allegro colors so now i color a little bit here also on the mold okay. and now last but not least we take some white allegro acrylic uh -huh. not last but quite last shadow we and highlights your exactly <laughs> you know my style already <laughs> shadow and light so create contrasts so white with the sponge and i softly dab around the, the sponge was dry right monica totally dry yes, very well dried very well dried 
because we don't have to wet the the clay again this is the... no exactly the clay already is dried and we only have to enhance the uh, structure and the texture yeah. you announce the, the the drawing and the stamps you you create with the impression molds they pop up very impressive yeah, yeah. exactly but I also like to add a little bit of a shiny color, like... Um, I know you, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Which color am I trying to take now? Tell me. <laughs> uh, the gold, I know, I see. <laughs> you saw it, oh, okay. You know, I love this color, which is, which is called Oro Bianco, white right. gold. White gold, yeah. White gold, but you, of course, you can use now also silver or other gold, whatever you want. But some spots of lights, of shiny lights, I like. So take the same sponge, a little bit of white gold, and just mm -hmm. that little bit here and there, here and there. Cindy also love white gold. They say yes. yes. <laughs> right, Cindy, I agree. So, yeah, because it just gives some good reflection when the lights uh, on the lights, so it doesn't change the color that much, but give yes. that really special touch. It's actually, metallic colors are quite clear, quite transparent, and especially this color is not silver, it's not gold, it's in the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. It's a very nice, ni very nice tonality. So let's now we have completed also this side, which fits with the other side that I have made yesterday. You see also what I had added here: some pearls into the mold because actually the mold is Please, soft. Come, come close, come close away. Yes, I show you also how to put it. Pearls. Oh. Yes. You can take the pearls, mm -hmm. these are Stamperia pearls, and you can fix it into the mold, because the mold is still soft, and you can press it like this, inside, you see? Beautiful, it's beautiful. Yes, and it's a touch of uh, glamour. <laughs> So why not this here? These pearls are very nice. They are in different sizes in the same package. And you can choose the ones you like and just press into the mold. Okay. Is another question. Yeah. Is the, the spray is water-based. Mm -hmm. So how it doesn't color how it doesn't color white acrylics? Acrylic. So if the spray is watercolored, just I have now to see the question. Let me see. If the spray is water-based, so how it doesn't color white acrylics? It colors the white acrylics. So the white acrylics, uh, it's not actually um, let me check. I don't see the question. Sorry, can I see it again? If the spray is water-based, so how it doesn't color white acrylic? Uh, yes, it colors the white acrylics, actually. Uh, everything is water-based, what we have used today. And um, also, the, um, also the aqua color, even if they are water-based, they are very, very strong, very pigmented colors. That's why they fix on every surface, as I told you, also on glass, uh, on uh, every, uh, also wood. So paper, they, whatever you can use everywhere on ceramic powder. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's why they colored the, the soft clay before, and we only used acrylics uh, like uh, a sort of patina with the sponge, uh, just to take out the texture of the base. So here it is. As usual, we will uh, uh, we will post also the picture. Uh, is it uh, is it right, Omar? With the, the picture of the base with details afterwards. 
So yeah. you yeah. will see also uh, the details of, uh, of the base. So I think it's something you can make to make again, to renew everything in your house, of course. Oh, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, also old bottles, old bases. So why to throw them away? No, just make it in another way. So <laughs> you can just make, make yeah, bases, a cup for a present is, is beautiful. If you have on all the old vases you can renew it uh, and but talking about the soft clay uh, i remember that one time you show me a little tricks uh, that you you use mixing two products i don't know if you want to say that because i know it's it's, it's a secret that you use during your course but you understand oh, it's secret, but it's not anymore because actually it's a technique i like a lot because uh, you know pasta sculptura i think i'm you, talking about pasta sculptura you're right pasta sculptura it's very technical uh, clay very technical paste but i found out uh, a way to mix it with a little bit of soft clay, soft clay and pasta sculptura to create an easier way to making three dimensional shapes. So I think that one day, one demonstration will be like this. So we can learn to make easy flowers in not very difficult way, but in an easier way with the soft clay. So another use of soft clay. Right, yeah. great. <laughs> you learn too much. <laughs> Filming, filming, I was just looking at you and it's very easy to learn from you. And I think that everyone now is really feel the same of me that just watching you doing it's it's it seems everything looks very easy when 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 you play with it. But uh, I'm sure that these little tricks that you gave can help can help people. Can you show just last time the vases? I want to see again the, the beautiful vases you did. Come. So here it is. That's so you're, you're out. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful, Monica. Very, very beautiful. I feel like, yeah, I'm happy. Listen, Omar, yeah. what about the uh, next demonstration next week? I don't know if you noticed something or, uh, except my new uh, haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you noticed something today. I don't know. Something mm. new. <laughs> Your glass are the same. Oh, let me see. Does it, does it, you are there. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> so that's a pendant, a oh. pendant, a bracelet, uh, and. Uh, but but Monica, but sorry, we only do demonstration with Stamperia products. Uh, uh, of course, Stamperia products. Of course, so much. <laughs> Of course, I only know them actually, so it's very easy for me <laughs> to use them. So, so these ones are made with a new, very, uh, people like a lot, uh, new raisin, new crystal raisin by Samperia. So I made it uh, with uh, uh, new colors and new, no, we'll see, we'll see. Of course, it's Stamperia, Stamperia product. So with the raisin, yes, people, people in, in the... In the last we have a lot of uh, people who love the raisin now a lot of um, posts about raisin and beautiful uh, jewels so I'm, I'm very curious to know how to do that how to do that so um, i will show you my simple tricks uh, to make uh, jewels with raisins so next time i think uh, if you're interested uh, i will tell you what to prepare before and to try to make the same as me at the same time hmm? About resin, Monica, uh, there's a video I want to share. There's a video I want to share, please wait. Okay, I'm okay here. Yeah, we are, we are in our Sampria YouTube channel. So as you can see, there's a lot of video about resin, Alda, and here's oh. Bola, and a lot of people give the contribution to the resin, but I have... Oh. 
said that my atelier is in my house. So this is my chihuahua. He's <laughs> jealous. He's jealous. <laughs> She's a bodyguard. <laughs> I know this video. <laughs> so this is an uh, uh, inspired to Monica's canvases with uh, new techniques. Uh, one uh, new technique about uh, three-dimensional facts and the new raisin, new colors for raisins. So step by step, uh, we will find out this new project and we will make it together. We'll have fun. <laughs> Oh. Hello, this video. <laughs> so I remind you, if you want to learn how to make uh, this um, canvas with uh, lovers, with uh, Monica's canvases, rice paper, you can follow this video. You will find it in 2D e Academy. And uh, you can, uh, once you have it, uh, you can see it as many times uh, as you like uh, and to make the same example the same it time. It's in four different languages. So Monica record this video four times in four different languages. So I think that thank you so much for the effort and to be <laughs> such an incredible artist, woman, Mother, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, L last but not least, uh, I want to remember that we have a Stamperia Cafe in two days coming, uh, and it will be incredible. It new, we, we we're going to introduce the new collection from Stamperia. So stay tuned, wait, I want to add something. Hold on, let's stop right here. Here we, we have yeah, the cafe. Yeah, so next Thursday, same time at 3 p.m. And we have the new collection. So fall 2020 with Christina, Belinda, Anthony, Simona, I think, that is a very good occasion to stay on live with us. I think. I think so. You will see what we are We have. We are preparing. We are preparing since some yeah. some times. So we will see the new collection. I'm I'm eager to see this. <laughs> so it will be on Thursday. Great. On Thursday. Yes. On Thursday. 3 p.m. Great. While. So, me and you and all our friends, we will see again next week on Tuesday at on Tuesday for new adventure, new products, and new course from the beautiful Monica Paruta here yeah. for all of you and my wonderful friend Omar. So uh, okay, we'll see you again next week. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much, and see Thank you, you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.